Uh, it makes me feel honored and like every time someone looks at it, I'm gonna be like, yeah, that's my artwork, I did that. And I'm just gonna feel like so proud of myself that I was part of something this amazing. held a series of workshops that explored taking up space with your dream passions for the future so we worked with kids thinking about what they wanted to be when they're older what careers they wanted to do and how to articulate that in a creative way it's made me think really hard about what I want to do in the future I didn't know how I wanted to interpret like computing and maths but now I understand I can like become like a graphic designer or something like that. I'm gonna be a botanist, like I want to be a botanist and um, I like plants, animals, nature. My dream career is being a dentist or a doctor. I made a mouth with some teeth in it and drew on braces of my teeth. To represent my um my artwork and my dream, I basically made a person but her face is chopped like in half and the top part is filled with plants and flowers and stuff while the human is supposed to replicate like art. Students gained a numerous skills, soft skills to creativity, they learned about public speaking, they had the chance to think about their future. It was good to have this conversation starting now to help them have a focus when they start their new academic year. I think it's really nice for them to actually engage with some model making and some 3D work and actually taking the pressure off some of those career decisions and adding some creativity into that process. tell anybody you're not good at something all right and if you know in yourself that you need to work on it then just keep working on it but you must put your best foot forward do you hear me i'm talking to you i said do you hear yeah. me yeah all right good all right i'm not the only one talking to myself so I worked alongside Effie who we collectively did these two part workshops where we talked about exploring dreams and exploring space simultaneously to sort of talk about these ideas culturally and how they sit within your community and then also artistically. I'm trustworthy. I like entertaining people. I do entertain people. I'm confident. I'm kind. I'm generous and I'm respectful. I'm good at gymnastics. I'm alright with dancing. I'm a good listener. I'm good at drawing. I'm good at styling, making outfits. I like to use uh, wasted materials and create something new out of it. Yeah, oh I love that. We can have open conversations with them, we can bounce off each other. They've, uh, they've been into school and actually this is the third mural we have in the school and we're really proud to be part of changing the shape of our, our school building through the creativity of the artists within Paint the Change. My hope that the kids take away from this workshop is to just sort of dream as big as possible. I hope that any dream, whether it feels crazy like being an artist, like it feels like can, is actually possible. If you just put your mind to it and work pretty hard, then you can get there in the end. For me, I wasn't really that good at art before, but like uh, since quarantine and everything, I started drawing a lot more in sketchbooks and I came to the workshop because I was really bored at home, so I found it fun. I feel like I developed a lot. Like my confidence has gotten like so much better. Like my goals are so much stronger. Like I think the best challenge in this workshop was like getting to know everyone's passion and then that just made me less scared to grow up and actually do those jobs that I really wanted to do. To do. Don't underestimate yourself because I'm always saying that I'm bad at art while I even come here but then at the end of the day like just try something new even if you're not good at it at least you gave it your best shot and that's what you should be like proud of. <laughs>